Ladies and last souls, welcome to episode 9 of my Tormented Souls playthrough. Let us jump right in. It doesn't the jump. Jump in! We jumped in. This is where we left off. We were reading this, the old Tiamuit tribe. Oh, almost forgot. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Thank you very much. <laughs> This is a white Russian. You don't know what it is? No, it's not. It has nothing to do with race. It's because there's cream in it. Yeah? Do you want to say cream is racist? Not because it's white. You're a racist. You pig. No, seriousness, jokes aside, this is a white Russian. This is a, the dude's favorite drink. You should try it one day. It's a little bit like a dessert. With the only difference that after you drank it, you're... Oh, oof. <laughs> you're a little bit like that. All right. The old uh, Tizmuit... The old Tiamuit tribe. The old Tiamuit tribe. The Tismuit was an ab origi aboriginal tribe discovered in the late 15th century on the islands west of Canada. They engaged mainly in fishing. It is particularly striking that, unlike other aboriginal tribes of the time, the Tismuit carried out sacrificial rituals similar to those of the Mayans or the Aztecs. According to the first explorer sent by John Cabot, the local, local sacrificed two brothers, twins, to offer their blood to the underground god, who, according to legend, would be reborn and bring duality back into the world. Duality? What is that supposed to mean? So the non-binary people hate hate him or what? Is it the, so, the solution to the binaries? Oh, we got another... Oh. Another little speck of diary. The twins are eight years old. They run around the place and the patients and hospital staff pamper them excessively. Excuse me, can you shut up with this noise? Thank you. Our members are getting restless. They believe it is time to use the girls for the sacrifice. Until now, I have been able to ease them by suggesting a date for the ritual. Today, Anna and Emma gave me a pair of slippers they made. It appears Anna made one and Emma the other. That would explain why they are different sizes, but they are comfortable nonetheless. The date of the sacrifice draws near. I cannot sleep. And Emma died then. She fell down the bridge and Anna survived. We found her in the prison, but then she got caught again. She got put in another cell. And she started to turn into something bad. Yeah. Very, very, very unhappy story. No happy end. Oh, no, no. Maybe for us. Even though we we're missing an eye. I don't know how happy that end can be if, 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 they, if you lose an eye. Maybe the ending is happy. Even though, if you, if you think about it, the ending is always you dying. So how can that be happy? The ending of the story is happy. Okay, ending of the story. I'll, I'll, I will give you that. Okay, we searched everything here. So we just go back where we came in. Unless something really bad comes out of this door. Let me do one last swoop. There's lots of wardrobes. We couldn't use anything here. These lions here. We found a bunch of notes. What if we approach this from the front? Nothing to be made or nothing to be done. Excuse me and goodbye. Alright, let's go back through the boob gallery. Lots of boobs. But it's art, so that's okay. It's boob art. What if we go back here? We went through here after the puzzle where we... Oh, okay. So we're back here. If we go back in, do, does the puzzle start again? Let's not go back in. This might be the last episode, by the way. But maybe it won't. Let's see, we have... Do we have any objects that we didn't use? Oh, the antidote. Can I use it on myself? Or are we supposed to give this to Anna? 
Did they inject us with the with the weird thing? Or did they just remove our eye for, for shits and giggles? Yes, I'm the doctor. Yes, oh, yes, yes. All right, we, I see the problems that you have. I see only removal of the right eye helps in that situation. Excuse me, don't, don't mind if I do. I have here a spoon. It's perfect, perfect tool. Excuse me. There you go. You're cured. <laughs> um, uh, we're running out of shotguns, shotgun shells. We're running out of everything. Getting increasingly worse. <laughs> They're still moving. You could hear them. I, I, that was the thing that I think it must have been creepier in the imagination of the developers then. Oh no, is this Anna Cell? Anna? Girl? I have a syringe for you. I have the antidote. Maybe it's already too late. We have to syringe ourselves. Wow, look at this crap! Holy shit, it's... Uh-oh. Excuse me, sir. Nothing personal, but... Oh, yeah! Smack it! Excuse me, sir. Uh, no standing up allowed. It's forbidden. Strictly forbidden. This is a no standing area. There we go. You're a good boy. Unfortunately, you're also dead, but that's not my problem. <laughs> a good night. <laughs> At least this is how I imagine an, an insane doctor talking. Without always going like... <laughs> like laughing to himself like he knows something that you don't. Or he's vastly, vastly superior to you. Maybe we got another book. Why have they taken uh, me away from what I loved the most? Are they testing my determination? The roads to salvation are full of thorns. I have always known that, but I did not expect one of them to pierce through my heart so cruelly. Your death gives me more strength to carry on with my mission. I will see you again soon, Christina. Christina. Uh, what? Oh, I picked that. Oh, I thought. Wow, I was super confused. I thought I. I used those braziers and then suddenly. I would be required to, um. To use the batteries there. Uh. Okay, I don't know what to do here. Maybe it's just the thing that you look at. All the, the feet have disappeared. They were all suckled into their holes. Like it's like it continues inside. It's like usually it's just like a little a little hole you put in the the dead the dead people and it's closed on the other side. So I kinda wanna know where they're going. Maybe those tunnels are all connected and they're having a party somewhere. I guess we'll know once we start hearing a... <laughs> we're having a party. We're getting closer to the party. Ah, shit, it opens. Hidden meeting chamber. And what is this way, though? This way. What is over here? <laughs> Okay. Use this one. Use a shotty? Use a shotty. I think he's dead. 
Oh no, we have we have four, we have three shotgun shells left. We have a bunch of the electro stick. He's dead, right? Yeah. He's a rip in salami. He has died. Should we do? Do we go this way? I think we should go the other way. I think the other way comes first. Continues here. Hidden meeting chamber. All right, I don't mind if I do. I'm gonna make myself comfortable on this cross here. <laughs> ah, this is really comfortable. There you go. Oh, could you? Can you wait with the nails? Oh! <laughs> yeah, those people are insane. Why crosses, though? It's like very Christian. For years, I cursed my destiny. I always thought this is Noah's diary. My birthright had been stolen from me when my twin brother didn't survive labor. I hated my mother, I hated the doctors, I hated myself the most. We were supposed to tribute our sacred blood to the gods. The sect won't sacrifice a single child. Oh no, I didn't sacrifice him. Poor boy. They require twin brothers, or our god will be unable to grow. Now I understand my role in our god's rebirth is not to give my blood, but to lead the Pollux sect into his into this sacred of the destiny. <laughs> Oh, we got a, a save. Saving tape. Some sort of heart is placed on a cross. It doesn't look like a painting. Is this a photograph? Well, shit. Color me curious and shit. And shit. Oh. Don't say anything. I can see the disturbance in the force. I forgot it. There we go. It has been removed. Thank me. I thought about changing the filters to the to the key light, but no. Forgot. Lol. Okay, I can hear one of you is walking around here, okay? Who the fuck are you, madam? It's like she's missing something. Maybe she's missing someone who breaks off her arms. Strange. Gotta find the object first. Oh shit. Excuse me, sir. I'll check it. Oh shit. Excuse me, I'll check it. I'll check it. Okay, we hit him twice. Oh no, not the hammer. Uh, with this. Let me use the electro stick again. Maybe he's di he'll die after two hits. He's flying around like a like a dolphin. <laughs> okay, we saved the nails and the shells. <clears throat> Check the center. <laughs> the beautiful archangel subtly, subtly lifted the, his finger. The golden shine from his ring almost blinded me and suddenly the gates of hell were wide open only for me. Yeah, I don't think I want to go to the gates of hell, honestly. I mean, honestly, I'm like, I'm, I'm okay with leaving. 
just going home, like intact, not crippled or like without without the other eye as well. A big marmol tomb. A marmol? <laughs> <laughs> they mean marble, right? They mean a marble tomb. The stench of corpses blends with the aroma of the flowers. A marble tomb. Marmol, marmol, ship it out the marmol tomb. So, which item didn't we use yet? Only the antidote. All right, let's uh, let's keep on uh, keep. It. Oh, I'm leaving these here. What the hell? Why didn't I see those? Those could come in handy. The catacombs. Oh no, now it's going to become like a labyrinth. Oh, sweet of a Jesus. Goes in all that. Wait, are we back here? Oh no, it's different. Skeleton. Goes down and down. No, I, I, before I go down, I want to explore this uh, this floor, if I may. If I may, sir, I want to explore this floor over hither, over titter and over yonder. Safe room. No, it said stairs. Stairs. The fuck is this place? Oh, this is where I came from. This is where I came from. Oh, I came out here now. I see. Well, fantastic. must have preached his Mickey Mouse religion from there. Haven't we already been here? Yeah, we've already been here. Okay, there's something that I'm missing. is such a sweet drink it goes down like like a dessert that's how it goes down sweet if you don't like sweet then you know it's probably nothing for you but very dream what the f you gotta be kidding me the finger gave us the finger sewers right we're in the sewers yay I love the sewers it smells so lovely here ah delish the smell of feces and piss I don't know which one I like more of the two. But I can tell you, I know which one I like less. Okay, somebody's walking around. Okay, excuse me, sir. <laughs> excuse me, sir. Nothing personal. I'm just going to have to stop you. You little rascal, you. Oh! 
You did me a solid. We need to hit him three times, I think. No! Please don't die! Oh my god, that was close. Use some morphine. Get out of here, you stupid idiot! What are you? Oh, oh. Fuck you! You tried to kill me. You don't get to call for help. Members of the sect are getting restless. We have fewer twin babies to offer, and their attempts to force their con conception in the test subjects have wholly failed. We have only managed to get defective specimens. CME's fetuses that are so misshapen they're incapable of surviving long after the Caesar section. If this continues, I will lose my position as High Priest of the Pollock sect. I'm afraid that, without my leadership, the other members will grow bolder. This might raise suspicions about the cult. I think the solution is just to kill everybody and then yourself. And don't think about the, the whatever god it is that you want to resurrect. Just get rid of everyone and that That'll be fine. Fine and dandy. Uh. And down, down, down we go. Into the underbelly of the beast. I can hear another one of those idiots walking around. I bet he would love to damage me too. We have lots of uh, morphine, though. Sometimes I dream at night. In my dreams, the wind dances with the smell of flowers and caresses my face. The afternoon sun paints the clouds behind the mountains in sepia and the lilac tones. My heart fills with joy. I'm standing on a beautiful balcony full of plants and flowers, all of them full of life. I go back inside the room and see the wall covered with gorgeous green wallpaper. The place smells wonderfully of lavender. There is a big mirror in front of me. I go to it as slowly, unable to resist the curiosity, and my reflection appears in the glass. That's a me, but not exactly. The person in the reflection has clean and treated hair. Her smooth skin glows with a slight tan. Her lips are as red as ripe fruit. I admire her for a few moments without nothing but envy, and suddenly my chest tightens. Rage poisons my blood and my eyes turn red and giving in to the murder instinct. I hurl myself to the neck of that person. That person is similar to me, but whose confused eyes betray her as an imposter. I feel the pressure of the blood on her carotid artery through my fingers. Her mouth tries to articulate the word, but I push even harder. I'm afraid of what she might say, so I push some more. I wake up in the dark, soaking in sweat. The sound of sewer water and the air currents make me realize that I'm in my room. But the lavender smell carries on, floating a few moments until it escapes completely through the bars. And it's a young child's diary. <laughs> yeah, that is one hell of a child. That is one... Hell of a ch I can hear you. Oh, you don't fit through the- Oh shit, it fits through the door! Oh, you smack! Fit through the door, you little jerk. You're running out of- And I screwed it up, I messed it up. You don't have to use the nailer. Two stabs and three shots. <sighs> Alright, let's go through the first... Wait, what? Yeah, let's go through the, the first door. Unlocked. Oh, we were here before. I remember, we killed two guys in there.
Two guys, one cup. I'm very confused as to where I should go with all these intersections. With all this intersectionalist feminism. Out and about. What the fuck was that? Did you see that? Wait, is this the same room as... Somebody standing there? We're going over there, right? Um, oh, maybe it was like the... The ledge here. Oh, come on, this is very confusing. A sewer storage room. Please, music. Oh, yeah, we can save. Good, good. Young child's diary. Grandfather Noah came to my prison with a revolver in his hand. When I turned to him, he stepped back but kept the gun level. You are alive, he said, surprised. After all these years, you are alive. I was stunned. It was him, really him. The man who had imprisoned me and left me forgotten all these years. I wanted to throw myself at him, but he had the gun pointed at me, and I knew better than anyone the terrible physical condition my imprisonment had put me in. This is very fortunate, a sign of God, he continued. I will finally have the Wildberger twins together once Anna arrives. Oh, so this was Emma. I will finally open the vault and gain access to the temple. Just a little longer, my child. Just a little longer, you old sack of shit. And that was in the text. You can, you can, uh, you know, you, you can go back in the movie. You'll, you'll see it. it's in the text. After that, he walked out without turning back. I followed him to the exit, but as expected, he had locked it. This is the last thing I will write. I have been a prisoner down here all these years, but if he thinks he has control over my destiny, he is wrong. To open the temple entrance, he needs a set of twins to offer themselves to reti retina scanners. He needs the two of us, Emma and me. Wait, it's actually Anna, but... What? Is he confusing? Is he confusing the girls? Once Anna arrives and he's talking to Anna. She's Anna. He will not use my eyes. I will stop him. The blade is red hot. I have to do this. Emma, if you ever read this, do all you can to survive. Live a normal life. Forget about me. And if you see father, do not tell him that I was locked down here all these years. What I'm about to do to myself, I do not want him to see me like that. Let this be my last decision. The final decision I made for myself. She removed her eyes. Well, wonderful. <laughs> it doesn't fit. Emma, don't come to the vault. Save yourself. Emma, don't come to the vault. Save yourself from hell. It's a warning for Emma, one of the missing twins. It may be possible that one of the girls is inside the vault. I must find a way to get in. She. that the vault? Oh, no, that's where I came in. Should I save or explore first?
I want to use only one save, but you know what? You know what? We have seven, seven saves. Let's use one. Now and later. And I think we're pretty close to the ending of the game, so that's cool. We won't be finishing them all anyways. All right, I think this is one of the mirrors where we light the candles. What if I want to explore down here first? There's a little <clears throat> note, a little book on the other side. Let's get that one first. Oh, I know where... Right, we go around the corner and then it's on that side. And then here we follow the wall. I think here's a dead end. Wait. Yeah, she doesn't go into the water. Very good. I didn't want to. Anyways, I didn't want to go into the to the shit water. It's not only disgusting, there's probably ah also creatures. I can't take this. Alright, I know where the book is. The book is this way. A young child's doodles drawn in blood. That was a delicious a double white Russian, by the way. Wait, does this remove the water? That must be the fault. What's with all the Jesus stuff? I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a Christian cult or anything, so I don't know why, why they have to use crosses. And the, the Jesus figurines. Maybe there are like five like rebellious little five-year-olds that are like, Ah, I hated that religion from my childhood. I hate it! Instead of being normal. What is this? I could place something in front of the scanner. Oh, this is for her eyes. Oh, don't tell me we are one of those daughters. Since we lost her. That's why they took our eye. Because we are Anna. So we can basically go in there, we, we just have one eye, we put it over there with some duct tape and then <laughs> put our head here, we can go in. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't have anything to go in here now, right now. I'll be back. I'll be back. Like a good old Arnie said. In Terminator 2. The best and also the last Terminator movie. The other ones are absolute garbage. Now the one before that is good, but after that, it's so trash. They're only doing remakes. And then a remake, but now everyone is a lesbian! Yay! And we hire only lesbians as well. It doesn't matter how good they are at writing stories. And you better love it! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people these days? It's so crazy. Okay, I lit him up. What? Is this?
this my room? But this is hundreds of miles away from the mansion. How can this be possible? Mm. Well, you're Anne, a little missy. I suspected this from like 10 hours ago. My diary. It happened again last night. I had that nightmare, the one where I fall into the void, squeeze my eyes tight, and an icy cold hits my back. When I fi <gasps> finally open my eyes, I see dirty water running through the stone channels and pipes leading down to endless tunnels with arched ceilings. I see shadowy human silhouettes and misshapen heads projected into moldy walls. A my man in the radioactive suit grabs my arm and, with a guttural roar, yells, Let the ritual begin! I wake up drenched in fetid sweat, take the sheets off my body, put my feet into my mouth and scream, Oh, oh! I was just kidding. Put my feet on the floor only to discover that <laughs> it too is wet. I peed the bed. I turned on the lamp to find a room not my own. The wall's dirty and the window that faces the street now, the mouth of a dark tunnel where savage flows. I get up, numb. A stream of putrid, putrid cold air hits me, and when I look at my reflection in the mirror, I see myself but dressed in rags, my hair dirty and matted, confused and scared. It is me, Mario, or so it seems, but there is something in her eyes that I do not recognize. The person on the other side of the mirror stretches out her arms and grabs me by the neck. You left us here. I wake up. Back in my room, the light from the street lamps enters through the window, silhouetting the leaves of the plants. I slowly remove my hands from my neck, and the TV turns on. I pinch myself to make sure that this time I am awake. The dial turns to the right, and the times to the left. The TV showing seemingly sh random images, but always the same. Turns to the right, and the times to the left. And of course, the, the bed sheets are rose. Rose. The bed sheets are rose. She has the fucking creepy doll up there, too, and the double headed doll as well. It's the doll that always moves, the one on the left. But let me search the room first. Can we search the house? No. Oh, that's a combination. Well, let me write this down. Okay, eight is the spider. This is four. Maybe it's five to the left. Maybe it's wrong. We got seven. Mm. What the shit? What the crap? Necklace with a sun design. And what good did it do to me? And now what are we doing with the necklace? Can you combine them? 
Wait, this reminds me of something. Uh, shit, this was used for something. Where was that again? Shit, I feel like I have to search all over the place. Was it here? Ooh, I really need to go back through here. I threw here. Oh, no, we can't go back. Oh no, through... Wait, wasn't there... I'm very confused. The pumping room. Oh, this is the way back. Oh shit, the bitch is back. Excuse me, my lady. I will be leaving, and then I'm returning, and you will be gone! <laughs> oh, hilarious, hilarious. Oh, this is the exit. Office. Okay. Okay, I remember this. Um. Oh, the bitch is back! Ay, 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 ay. The bitch is back. Ship dooping. Ba doobie doobie. Ay! Shh. Fuck. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, here, yeah. Dun, dun. That's the one puzzle that was left. Of course, it's another secret door. At least the light turns on as well. Remembrance. This was her child. Her childhood, wasn't it? sister and I used to listen to when we were children. My sister. My sister Anna. I remember. I Told am you. Emma. The girl who fell from the bridge 14 years ago. All this time, I've kept the traumatic memories hidden inside my head. But this song has set them free. Anna, you have been alone in the dark this whole time. I don't know if you are still there, but I promise I will do everything in my power to find you. It's time to find out what's behind the vault door in the... It is fuck a clock. Fuck a clock. <laughs> we go down there. We bring all our weapons. And then we go fuck. We go fuck him with everything we got. Oh. Mother told us to stay away, but we didn't listen. We decided to investigate the forest next to the main garden. We were curious, but 
When we heard the hitting and screaming sounds, I got scared and asked Emma to go back to the house. She insisted on seeing where the noises were coming from. She went ahead, and I followed. Within a glade, we discovered three men in full body outfits. They stood under huge rocks carved with symbols and were using hammers to hit a large red stained bag, which seemed to writhe. One of them poured some liquid over the bag and they set it on fire. The bag started to move with more force. I got scared and snapped the twig I was holding. The men looked in a direction and pointed towards us. I took Emma by the wrist and ran. We broke through thorny bushes, all the time listening to the men's fading shouts. Finally, we made it to the mansion, but the pretty dresses mother made were ruined. Huh. So that's how they got their dresses ruined. Little rascals. Oh, thank God I clicked this thing here. I almost left it. Fishing hook. We can go fishing for compliments with this. Without the pliments part. The camera keeps turning. Uh. Okay, the bitch is not back. Uh, let's go through here. Button. Button. We got the button here, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> Why don't you press it? This house is full of these fucking things. I can't tell where I'm going if the, the vision turns all the time. The camera turns all the time. I don't even know where that fucking thing opened. Here. Oh shit, it's a VHS tape. Alright, we have to go back to the... VHS room. I'm trying to figure out where we are again. West of two? Oh, it's right over there. We go straight, and then the first on the on the on the left side from this perspective. We're going. This is why you have... Why you have things under your glasses, because it just gets... Wet. Why is his head just itching? Ah, oh, his head was itching. God damn it. God damn. How to diggity dog. He had a chipped tooth. He went to the dentist and look what they made. Look what they turned him into. Help, X-ray images. So he has help tools, tools uh, arranged in help pattern inside his chest. Oh, we can't even look at him. All right, I guess the thing we're looking for is not here. Oops. 
foil it. It's a walk through toilet. Don't kill her, just cut the... She's not killing her, right? Oh no, she took her own eye out. What the fuck? Yeah, so she can get into the into the vault, right? Told you. We're gonna need the missing eye, and uh, fortunately, we just found it. <laughs> we found it in our own head. time wait I'm going the wrong way I didn't come from here let's take the tape with us just for safety reasons we don't want anyone to go in there it'd be crazy Oh no, the fat lady. It's only over when the fat lady sings. She sings every time she pops up. That's a real problem. In here, right? Here we did the eye thing. And then it opened that. And this opened another thing. And holy shit. Oh, here. This was the... Fuck the bitches back. Bum 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 boom 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 boom. She weird the bejesus. All right, now we can take the shortcut to the vault. I've no. I'm literally like I. I drank a double white Russian. My brain is literally gone. It left the room and didn't say goodbye. It just left. I don't remember this here. This must be the wrong way. Yeah, yeah I remember going these down. Oh yeah, this seems familiar. Mausoleum, I'm a coming. Uh, it looks like a labyrinth down here. I swear, oh, this, oh. This is where we can save. Wait, you actually do this? You actually do this? Oh! What? 
That's disgusting. Safe. I found a little room in the sewers. Now I she's can't talking. Help but feel that this is the place I've seen in my darkest nightmares. The stench, the cold, the dirt, the wet. It all resembles the horrible nightmares I've been having lately. The mirror in this room takes me to my actual room, miles away from the hospital. I looked out the big window in my room and had to gather all my willpower not to shatter the mirror behind me, open the window, and jump out into the yard. Something inside me knows that this is where I should be. I have to help those girls. One of them is in the sewers. Yeah, you're funny. You're the other one and you know it. I need to find a way to help them. Why don't you get brain surgery? That should help. Einstein. Alright, this concludes another episode of Tormented Souls. The next one might be quite short. I do not know, but it seems like we are quite at the ending. Thanks for hanging out. See you in the next one. Goodbye.